the post office book, Mail and How It Moves. So this book is about the mail. Do any of you know any mail carriers? I actually know my mail lady, she's my neighbor. This story was written by Gail Gibbons. Let's learn about the mail today. Okay, there's a mail carrier. And there's the post office. So let's figure out what happens. Since early times, people have sent messages and packages to one another. So let's look at the different pictures. This is how they used to send mail back in the day when we didn't have cars. So someone would give their package or their mail to someone else and then that person would run. Then another person would show the person that was expecting the mail. Then sometimes they would have to ride a horse to get the mail where it needed to go. Now we have cars, so people don't ride horses anymore. It looks like people would send their mail on these big boats. So they would unload the mail from the boat, then give it to someone else, and they would get all the mail and put it on the back of their carriage, and they would take it somewhere. So that was called the Pony Express. Okay, that's when they used to send mail by horse. So the person would ride the horse and take it to the next station on the Pony Express. Then they would go put it on a train says nowadays we have modern ways of sending mail the sender pays to have something mailed a stamp shows the cost a heavy piece of mail costs more to send than a lighter piece okay so that's true if you have something small to send like a letter you're not going to pay as much as you would pay for a bigger package an address and zip code tell where the mail is going. Things can be mailed at a post office. Okay, so you can either go to the post office or you can go to a store that has a post office inside of the store or a place in a mailbox. So you can put it in one of these blue mailboxes and they will pick up um, your mail. Or you can put it right outside your house. Some people have their mailbox um, outside. Some people have it um, right outside their door. It just depends where you live. A letter carrier picks up mail from the mailbox. Okay, so this guy's picking it up. This lady's driving, he's walking. He has a little cart that he puts the mail in. This lady is also walking and he is on a boat. Okay. The mail goes to the local post office where it is sorted by hand to divide local mail. Mail for nearby places from mail to out of town. The out of town mail is put on a truck and sent to the big area post office. The big area post office receives mail from many local post offices. Inside the big area post office, a culling machine divides the oversized or odd-shaped mail from the regular mail. So they separate the letters from the packages. See, so they're throwing the packages in this um, container over here, and they're leaving the mail, the letters, on that uh, conveyor belt. Postal workers handle this mail separately. The regular mail goes to a canceling machine. The machine prints a postmark on the envelope and marks the stamps with wavy lines so they cannot be used again. Next come the sorting machines. Postal workers at the machines read the zip codes and punch the numbers into a computer, which drops the letters into the correct zip code bins. Other postal workers stack the letters into correct zip code trays. The trays are then boxed and tied. All the mail is then loaded onto trucks. Some trucks go to boats or planes. Their mail will go to foreign countries. Some trucks bring their zip-coded mail straight to the other big area post offices. Other trucks carry zip-coded mail for faraway parts of the country. The mail is put onto planes going to the different zip-code areas. 
there it is unloaded and sent to the correct big area post offices. At the big area post office, the mail is sorted again to go to the smaller local post offices where it is sorted once more. Some of the mail goes into private mailboxes that people rent out right at the post office. The letter carriers pick up the rest of the mail and deliver it to you.